With this, thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me to speak. I speak here today on behalf of the Danish Presidency for the Council of Europe. Uh, and I would uh, in that say, say that it is fantastic that again uh, you're taking the opportunity to bring all these stakeholders together uh, to discuss where we are at the day, uh, today at this uh, very important area, what has been achieved until now, and what is more to do. We have heard earlier that rare diseases has low prevalence, but there are many of them. And I think at the moment, uh, there is a common agreement that is something between 5,000 and 8,000, but I suppose this number is without the rare, rare diseases. So to my natural science background, I suppose if you go and seek, you will find even more. So I think the task and, and the ambition for this uh, conference, Eurodis, and for all people working in its areas are completely important because diseases not only affect patients but also uh, their families and their friends around them. For each single rare disease, relevant knowledge and expertise are often scarce. Research is difficult and the risk of delayed diagnosis and inadequate treatment considerable. For this area, and I'm happy to hear what the commissioner said, it needs special attention. And in, with this respect, I can say coming from a country with five million people, if there wasn't an international work, network, I think it would be even worse. But in a network, even in a country with five million, if you take the forefront, you can add to the network. That's the idea of networking. So we need to work together and not only using the database of five millions, but 500 millions. We have heard that in EU we have already come a long way from early discussions more 10 years ago with the orphan medical product, medicinal product uh, regulation from 99 to the council recommendation on action on the field of rare diseases of 2009, where member states is recommended to elaborate and adopt national plans by the end of 13, and we just heard the commissioner saying that the commission will try and also have a stock taking on that. Uh, and I think a very important part of that is, of course, that it will also identify centers of expertise. And of course, it's needed when you have scarce resources and scarce knowledge. And that it is worldwide as well. We also heard with the International Rare Disease Research Consortium, which was lately formed under the US National Institute of Health and the Commission. So the work on rare diseases and orphan drugs is a global issue. Now we are facing challenges of establishing the European reference networks where relevant and necessary between the national centers of expertise. And I have seen that there is a great focus in theme two on that in the program. And I hope that it will even lead to more focus and more enthusiasm about creating these centers. And please don't go into research competition, but work together and create synergy because I think that will be uh, in, the, in the interest of the patients. The cross-border health director also deals with rare diseases and this is from 2011, and here uh, there are, of course, also challenges. But patient has now right to treatment, and it needs also to strengthen the cooperative approach by the European country. If you go and see for the success of the EU uh, often a medicinal product regulation, it is, you can simply count it. And I just saw uh, a press release from uh, Eurydice that there was given the number thousand designation to orphan drugs. And uh, I think it's just counting success. And uh, yesterday morning, I had the pleasure of uh, saying welcome to the informal or the presidential meeting of the Committee of Orphan Medicinal Drugs, the members here. I'm sure some of the members who were not present in Copenhagen are present here today. And it's fantastic what these people also have been doing. Our people, our expert. And if you see in these 11 years of existence 
and with the support about uh, all things watches and regulation, I don't think we could have been there today without this regulation. And that is congratulation, I think, to all who had been working on this. But of course, there are still uh, needs, because there are uh, needs for other products. There are uh, challenges to the regulatory system about inadequate uh, how to measure efficiency, how to make added uh, uh, benefits, how to follow the drugs on the market, and also the most focus nowadays on the post-marketing areas. The Eurocert and before the task force of rare diseases have produced reports and papers of highly quality and inspiring member states on how to work with rare diseases. And it's just very much important to continue this kind of work. The work of EU on rare diseases in, in, is inspiring the outside world. And again, sometimes we feel a little, say, oh, Europe and all other places are doing things much better. But to be completely air, on this area, we are inspiring others. So let's continue inspiring by being in the forefront of that. Such centers in Denmark, an information center was established way back in, uh, in 90. And the centers of rare diseases all, uh, was already started in 2001. But of course, it has to be developed and it has to be created as a network. When we are pursuant to the Danish Act, uh, Health Act from 2009 and the National Board of Health announced in 2010 a number, numbers and names of hospital departments which were approved as national centers of expertise based on, and among other things, criteria regarding rareness, complexity of the disease, and experience and multidisciplinarity of the hospital. And right now, we are, have our working group on the national plan or strategy for rare diseases in Denmark is revising the recommendation, and that will be our contribution to the 2013 demands, based on gained experience and new inspiration, also from you colleagues out there. Most of the other European countries have already made national plans and working on it now. And I think that this conference will, among other things, surely be inspirational to this work and to the future EU work on this subject. Please, the greetings from, from the Danish presidency, please keep up the spirit, do the hard work uh, to the benefits of citizens and patients. Thank you very much.